else to um, um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of where I've been, what I've been doing and why I've been gone for so long and I'm going to do that while I make myself some hummus and bitter bread um, I bought the house in I started looking in August and it took me until November to move the reason I was gone for so long was there was a series of events that happened that just meant that I couldn't really upload or I didn't have time um, so obviously I moved in the middle of November which took a lot of time and effort far more than I had anticipated um, the day after I moved into the house it was actually I moved over a series of three days the second day I was moving um, my grandfather had passed away a few weeks before he'd had a stroke um, and was in hospital and he was up and down quite a lot but after three weeks of being in hospital he passed away so I had obviously to mourn my grandfather and I had the funeral to um, go to I also had my birthday and because of the things like the busyness I was determined to do something good for my birthday so I went to Leeds and Manchester Christmas markets and I went to visit some friends while I was there my boyfriend proposed on Christmas Day, so you might be able to see a ring there um, that's just been resized because the first ring we got was giant. Um, then obviously Christmas happened and, well, as you know, Christmas is very busy. I was visiting people a lot. Um, I was doing things almost every day and just trying to get settled into the house. And every day I was like, I'll put this curtain up movies and I never really got a chance to just sit and film a video or sit and reply to people on Facebook but after a few months I finally got settled I'd say I'm pretty much sorted in my house um, looking at that now I kind of want some more hummus um, but yeah I've got my house as it is now there's a lot to do so I Let's get the tour going. This is my kitchen. I absolutely love this kitchen. It's a huge. Um, it's very light because I've got a couple of windows in here, a nice big glass door. The only downside to this kitchen is it's freezing. That door you're seeing there leads straight out into my garage. And my garage, I think, is in the middle of Serbia or maybe Narnia because it's so cold. Yeah, that's 
the piece to the left and the piece to the right in the wall is getting removed so I'm going to actually get quite a bit of floor space back from that and also this random bit of brick that just goes along the wall I'm not sure what the purpose of that is it'll be nice to get rid of that and I'm really looking forward to having a look burner in because it'll warm the house up quite a bit um, one of my favourite areas of the house is the dining room because it looks out over to my garden and I can sit there and eat breakfast and lunch and dinner and I love it I sit there in the morning and I've got the birds there I've got so many different birds in that garden my mum actually bought my boyfriend a book so we can identify them now um, so I leave that book right next to the window so if you see something new we can have a look I've been wanting to be using this dining table for years but it's had all of my computer stuff on and now I adore sitting here just looking out at the greenery and the birds and the nature and you can just see one there going to get some seeds um, I'm just going to have a look see if I can see any more guaranteed they'll all go shy now I have a mixture of things on my bird table at the minute I've got breadcrumbs and I've got a lot of breadcrumbs spread around the garden um, I have some flower seeds there and also some fat balls so I give the birds quite a bit of variety uh, to eat crawls up here I can throw some bread out and they will dive into the garden it's like something off uh, an Alfred Hitchcock movie there's that many my hatch I adore this hatch when I first came to see the house and I spotted that hatch I think I said that's getting bricked up um, and I was going to brick it up and just have it as a wall but I love it I would not change it the only thing I might change is the doors um, so that they open like either a concertina or they open out because it's so handy I put the glasses and the cutlery and food there um, and we can just get them, put them on the table, close the hatch up, eat dinner then when it's finished open the hatch up and put them through and I know that you're thinking well, why wouldn't you just walk around when you've got six or seven plates if you're having a big meal it's just so handy um, again a beautiful carpet in my hallway it's like a mossy snotty green colour um, I'll just get my post here it's not post it's junk mail I get quite a lot of junk mail living in this house not as much as I used to get that's just my little welly store and the stick that I picked up when I was out walking so I think I'm going to get carpet up the stairs and have wood flooring throughout the hall um, just so that the carpet doesn't get too dirty when you come in it's a lovely wide staircase I really like that and it's quite light at the top of the stairs so first bathroom and this is my master bathroom it's blue it's pale blue um, however I love it that bath is so wide my last bath was ridiculously small and this one is huge you can lie down and there's just so much room in it so I think this is going to be one of the last rooms to um, get done I I don't like the carpet on the floor but it's not it's not bothering me it's a clean carpet so there's just some spare tiles uh, for the walls because we smashed some of them by putting the side of the bath on um, I find that placement of the toilet roll holder really peculiar because you have to really bend round behind you and get it so I just leave it on the radiator and it stays nice and warm a chair uh, that's just to put things on because I don't have proper hanging on the back of the door and it's handy when I want to put my phone on something and watch TV while I'm in the bath that's just where the boiler is in there nothing interesting this is the spare slash guest room slash storage for my Christmas decorations and other random things the heating's off in this room so it's quite a cold room um, and it's blue so it looks a little bit cold those wardrobes were actually left by the people who sold the house so I had instant storage um, which is oh, it's amazing just being able to come into a house and put clothes in and not have to worry about building things up my garden from here and next door I've got a lovely um, fish pond which has water trickling 
can't see me. They're coming to get some food. The birds I've got in the garden at the minute are robins and blue tits, um, crows, blackbirds, pigeons, a few magpies. Um, but the blue tits and the robins are the ones that are there the most. This is actually quite a big bedroom, but the wardrobes make it look quite small. So the room we're going through into now is my office slash studio. Um, it's also another spare bedroom because I have got my bed city in there. Um, it's it's a bit of a mess, but it's a working mess. There's a lot of stuff all over the floor, but that's because I'm using those things. Um, I am still trying to figure out where everything's going in here. And just going to close these blinds because it's exceptionally bright. Um, there is a lot of stuff put into this room so I'm just trying to figure out all of the storage. The only thing I really dislike about this room is the squeaky floor. The floorboards are so creaky. Every single bit that you step on squeaks which makes life very difficult when you're trying to film something. I've got things set out my lights which I love being able to leave out because it means I don't have to fold them away. I've got my other light hidden up there. In here I've got all of my ASMR props. Again this was the matching drawers that were left and they've just come in so useful and I love one of my favourite things about the drawers is that those two handles split. It looks like one handle but it's actually two drawers. The wardrobes were also left so they have just been used immediately to put all of my clothes in and this is a big board that somebody gave me for Christmas it has my angel board so I'm actually going to put this up above my computer um, and I've just bought some fancy velcro strips to put it up I just have to go and get my spirit level because I don't want it going up wonky as you can see there that was just the line where the um, stair lift went because the lady who lived here needed a stair lift in the end. I could paint over it but I'm really not bothered. So this is the master bedroom. It's probably, <laughs> well it is the biggest bedroom I've ever had and I'm a bit unsure of what to put in it. My ensuite. This room is one of the first rooms that's getting done. Um, it's quite cold at the moment in the ensuite. And the shower isn't the greatest. As you can see, it's very old. It does a job. I've had to put a new shower head on and kind of attach it with those clips. Um, you can see it's just ancient, but it, everything in this house is a make-do at the moment, like it was in my last house. But this is only a make-do temporary, temporarily until I get it all done out. This is a shower door and it had like hard plastic um, cover on it but it's so old it's like cracked so I've had to put a normal plastic shower curtain behind it just so that the water doesn't go everywhere. Um, I am going to look at selling this to like a, a vintage bathroom company when I get it taken out because they use these for, um, you know, sets, movie sets. Obviously they'll have to replace the plastic, but I think it's a pretty cool vintage shower. And I love that little handle strap there. I don't have a great deal of stuff in this bathroom. I had a lot in my last bathroom, but it does have quite a lot of storage. Um, and so there's enough for everything. I've got my little toilet roll tower and some reading material. I think that's a Christmas magazine my friend bought me and that's me showing you the odd mirror. That's the, uh, the mirror that you never look straight in. It's like it's all wonky. So this is my ensuite, the ensuite that I never wanted in a house. I always saw ensuite throwaway instead of space, but in this bedroom, uh, I've got room for another ensuite, it's so big. Um, this window, very peculiar place, it's just really to let light in. I don't have the blind open very much because you can see into my name. 
neighbor's house who has another window in the same position. I think eventually I might get a super king size bed. Um, and I'm not sure what to put in this corner. It's kind of just an empty corner. You will see a chair over the other side of the room. I could move that there, but then I've got an empty space over the other side. Uh, this unit, I actually broke this down from a piece of furniture that was left in the house. There was a big headboard that went across the back with lights, and I've just taken that off and used the um, used the units. That chair was also left, and it is the comfiest chair I have ever sat in. I'm just going to get it recovered eventually. So when you go down the bottom of my bedroom, there is. Um, another room straight off it. There's no doors, it's just straight through and I'm going to turn that into a walk-in closet. It is my dream to have a walk-in closet. I am going to put, that's just some clean washing to be hung up. I'm going to put some double French doors on here to let the light in but to hide everything that's behind it. At the moment I've just got um, my drawer units and things there. Um, so my clothes are actually split up between two rooms. The wardrobe's in my um, my office and then other stuff that's in here. So it would be nice to eventually get them all in the same room. So that's my plan. It's a long way off. I'm just really enjoying being in this house at the moment, having my own space and enjoying living in a lovely area. The area I live in is absolutely beautiful. There's so much greenery around it. It's very peaceful. As you can see, I've managed to record this without having to stop because there's been children banging on a bin or shouting or people walking around the front. and. Now I'm going to sit at this desk and edit this video and put it all up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. I know it has taken uh, some time to get settled in this house, but a lot of things um, happened that I didn't expect that just kind of set me back.